What is that? What do you got there? <laughs> Jim Leahy from the Sullivan Street Bakery um, was interviewed by Mark Bittman of the New York Times, and Jim gave out his amazingly simple recipe for making bread. And you can make bread like this. I have never, I'm not a big bread baker. My sister is the bread baker in our family. You'll meet her eventually. She looks like me, except looks like a girl. Anyway, I, I made this last night and I was just blown away by it. This looks like and smells like and tastes like the kind of bread that you buy in like a real bread bakery. And hello, hello. talking about bread. So anyway, this is, it, it's a simple, simple, simple recipe. All it takes is time and what you do is you just, you take some flour and yeast and you throw it together and then you put it in a bowl and you let it sit for 12 to 24 hours. And that's what, that's what we did here. Then you toss it a couple times, <laughs> let it rise again, throw it in the oven. And what you do is you use a Dutch oven. And what the Dutch oven does is it creates like a mini steam house because that's how bread bakers make that nice crusty bread as they have an oven that does steam injection, which you and I, because our, with our fine quality ovens, uh, <laughs> cannot do. When you put the dough in the Dutch oven like this, and you put the top on it, you create a little steam room in there, which is great. Um, and then you cook it, 30 minutes into it, you take the lid off, let it cook for about 15 more minutes, and boom, it's done, and you get a loaf like this, which I, this is very, very cool, I think. And Jim Leahy uh, was interviewed on the New York Times website and he said, just give the recipe out. I want everyone to have it. So we're trying to spread the word. Maybe not as much as the New York Times can, but you know, in the little Eric universe. So this is really simple, all right? Let me show you how to do this, okay? Get yourself a bowl and you want three cups of flour. This is all-purpose flour. Um, I haven't used bread flour yet, but I'm gonna try that. Three cups of all-purpose flour. You can mix some whole grain flour in with it. Uh, you can also use a little bit of rye flour. How many was that? I don't know, you want me to rewind? Well, let me start over again. So, one, two, three. And then a quarter, quarter teaspoon of yeast. So, does it matter what kind of yeast you use? You can use rapid rise or active yeast. It's called instant yeast here. Uh, this works just fine. I always, uh, to save the yeast, because you use so little of it, I just put some uh, box tape over the top of it to seal it again. <laughs> and then you just you just cut the top of the tea. Yeah, it's very pretty, but it works. You use very little yeast in this because you're fermenting it for a day, basically. So a quarter teaspoon of yeast. Jim's recipe says one and a quarter teaspoons of salt. I think you need a little bit more. I think you need almost a tablespoon. But I have an off-camera comment to make. Yep. Hold on, please. Okay, we're back. All right, we're back. <laughs> oh, this is a teaspoon. So about like that. Boom. I wonder if people are gonna wonder what that noise is. That clunk, clunk, clunk noise? The clunk, clunk, clunk is a future episode because we have to fix the washing machine. Out. Okay, now we add, hello, whose show is this? One and a half cups of water. You'll want to use warm water, not cold. So you mix this. Mark Bittman have a very good term for it. It should be shaggy. So you take that, cover it with some plastic wrap. No kneading? That's the whole beauty of this bread, is it doesn't need to be kneaded. It's... How, how is one supposed to get their aggression out? I have no aggression. <laughs> so you, you literally, you just cover this with some plastic wrap and put it on the counter. Wait, wait. You need to put the little label on it. Well, you gotta write down, it would help, if you're like me, you need to write on a piece of paper here what time and what day you started this. Believe me, you're not like him. Yeah. <laughs> Can't even spell. 11 a.m. Wednesday. So just put that on there so you don't forget and let it sit. Ideally, it sits in a 70 degree area, but 
you know, it's I mean, 70 in here, dude. but our house during the night gets down to 60 degrees because we turn the thermostat down. So, and it's fine, you know, we just, I just let it rise for a longer time. It's moving still. If you're really still, I think that it's like bubbling. Is that true? Or am I making that up? It's still bubbling, yeah. Or maybe that's just the washing machine shaking the whole house. <laughs> okay, as you can tell, it's a couple hours later here now because it's dark outside and I've had a haircut. <laughs> Big day. Big day today. Yeah, I got a haircut. Thank you for the boss for the haircut. So we're going to take this and peel it out of the bowl onto a floured board. You see how this, see all those strands? Gluten. That's the gluten. That's Is that shaggy? That's, it's, it's what happens when you take shaggy dough and let it rise. Flour your hands. This this feels great, all right? So we pat this down and fold it on one side and fold it on the other sides like that and then flip it over like that. And you've got a nice ball. So you basically you folded it and you folded it, all right? But that's going to, that folding will pay off later because I'll show you in a minute here. Take a cotton towel and then I like to use cornmeal. You dust a, f uh, what's that thing called? Surface. A, co a co dust a cotton towel, all right? Then you take your folded and folded loaf and drop it on there like that, okay? So then we'll put some cornmeal across the top and then we fold the towel over on itself. We're gonna take this now and we're gonna let this rise for about two hours. Don't touch it, don't pat on it, don't <laughs> don't thump on it like some people do. I did. The thumper. So to save a little time on our episode here, um, I've got a loaf right here. This loaf has been rising for about three hours. And gently pull that off. Wow, look at that. Unveiling. That's huge. That's three hours? Well, it's a little more than three hours. Because we went to a cocktail party. <laughs> Can I thump on that? Don't touch this. <laughs> Our oven is from a uh, camper trailer from the 1950s, kind of like a Airstream kind of trailer. It's called the Vagabond. And um, it's How? the Vagabond is actually in our neighbor's yard, which you can see right through our window here. Remember when we folded the loaf under? Well, that's going to come into play now. When this starts to bake, the folds will kind of open up and you'll get those nice ridge lines in the bread. So it'll be a lot of fun. Okay, we've got to do this quickly because we don't want the oven temperature to drop. Okay, this goes up here. Okay, this is, the, this is the key to the whole thing, all right? Your hand goes under here like this and this goes in like that. You shake this to kind of even it out, put the lid on it. All right, so we set our timer for 30 minutes now. Okay, it's been 30 minutes. Take the lid off. Wow, that looks great. That looks amazing. It smells good too. As you can see, this comes right out of wow. here. Look at that. This line is basically where we folded the dough under and then when we flipped it upside down into the pot, those folds are what break open to create those neat cracks. I mean, you can make this and it's, and it's easy to do. With apologies to my sister for suggesting that she made dense bread. Um, this, I, this is really kind of amazing. I've made about a bunch of loaves of this and I've discovered that a couple of tricks uh, one is to use um, King Arthur all-purpose flour now they're not giving us they didn't pay us to say that or anything um, they could they could pay us in the future um, they could write a check to us but um, I found that the King Arthur flour seems to work the best with this recipe and you know look at this loaf you get this is it's quite amazing I'm gonna open it up for you It helps to have a good bread knife. Which we don't have. Which we don't have. And it's not hot anymore. This is like... Cool it's been cooled off. But look at that. That is amazing. Amazingness. That's called the crumb, I think. And it's got a nice crust on it. 
And you can do this. It's really, really easy to do. You can do it 25 times like we did. <laughs> I did it 25 times. The boss went to the barn every day. Oh, she's heavy. 